Today I'm going to show you the whole process of how I wax my own eyebrows at home and how I go from these hairy guys to this nice cleaned up look. And if you want to see how this is done, then just keep on watching. This is the GG Waxing Kit. I got it from Sally's Beauty Supply. And I've invested about $40 in everything I have and everything I'm going to show you. But if you want to do this for yourself, you certainly don't have to pay that much. Um, but just so you know, I've been using this to wax my own eyebrows for the past two years, and I obviously still have plenty left. So I think it's a really, really good investment. You just simply put the wax inside the warmer and then turn it on. So for this, you're also going to need a little pair of scissors, a wooden stick or popsicle stick. This special paper can also be found at Sally's Beauty Supply. And I use this aloe vera gel from Trader Joe's to help soothe my skin afterwards. So I cut the paper up into big rectangles. I think I have six. And besides that, you're just going to need some extra hairy eyebrows to work with. And after that, I just take my spoolie and I brush out my eyebrows. And I just brush them both in whatever direction they naturally grow. And so for me, some of them naturally grow upwards and some of them naturally grow downwards. So however your hair grows is how you're going to want to brush them. You'll know that it's the right consistency when the perimeter of the wax is really runny and the inside is a little bit more firm. At that point, I usually shut it off and by letting it just sit there, the consistency and the texture kind of evens out. I just definitely don't want it to be too runny because then it will fall right off the stick and it will make a mess and it's really hard to work with like that. So I take a little bit on the stick and I wipe one side completely off so I just have wax on the one side of the stick. As you can see, and I don't really know how else to explain how I'm doing this part so I guess you're just going to kind of have to watch and see what I do. I just sort of go straight until I get to the arch and once I get to the arch I turn the stick and just pull straight down. My best advice would be just to not get too close to your actual eyebrow. You really don't need to get as close as you think you do. If you do that, you might end up getting in some trouble and you might need to regrow half of your eyebrow. Unfortunately, I have a lot of trial and error with this, so please take my advice. Don't go too close to your actual eyebrow. And I actually do like to do the top of my eyebrow as well. I just think it looks so much nicer like that. Some people advise against doing the top of your eyebrow, but I'm not really sure why that rule exists. Someone please tell me. So that's it. I just do the whole bottom and the whole top and don't worry, I'll get to the middle afterwards. I'm taking the biggest rectangle that I made and I'm placing it on the whole entire eyebrow. Before you lay it down, find a spot where it covers the whole entire eyebrow. All right, and now I'm pressing it down. I'm pressing it really, really good to make sure that the paper is completely adhesed. That's not, that might not be a word. It's completely stuck to the wax and I'm pushing in the direction of the hair growth. I can't tell you why. I just know that that's what people do. And now for the fun part, you get to watch me experience some pain. You can see that I put my finger down just to kind of hold my skin taut and then I will rip it off in the direction, the opposite direction of the hair growth. It's not as bad as it looks. It really isn't. There might be some leftover wax, so I'm just going to take the clean sheet of paper. Oh, look at all that hair. I'm going to take the clean sheet of paper and I'm just going to press it on my skin and pull it off. Just It helps to get off all the excess wax. I didn't have a lot, but there's just a little bit and that's the way to do it. I like to get the whole entire middle section all at once. And again, if you're going to do this, don't go too close to your actual eyebrow because the last thing you want is a giant space in between the middle of your eyebrows. And I'm just going to stick the paper on. I'm going to do the same exact thing as before. And when I'm ready to pull it off, I'm going to pull from the top.
I'm doing the same thing to remove all the wax again and in between this whole process you can go ahead and comb your eyebrows just to see where you're at. You can do that and I also like to tweeze them too if I missed any little hairs or just to just to do a little extra cleanup. I didn't have too many extra hairs that needed to be tweezed but on to the second eyebrow. I'm not going to bore you with showing you the whole entire thing because you just saw one of them. But I will let you watch me go through the torture of pulling off the paper because that's why you came here, right? Just kidding, but am I the only one who really likes to see all the hair that came off afterwards? When I'm finished with everything, I like to just comb the eyebrows up or down or whatever floats your boat and just trim off the little extra hairs. Like if you find that you have a hair that's super long compared to the rest, just go ahead and chop it off. That's what I do. And I stick those sticks to the paper. A clean piece of paper to throw away. All right, so now I'm just using the aloe. I'm putting it on a glob of toilet paper. You can use a cotton ball, whatever. It really helps to reduce the redness a lot faster. So that's it. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.